it's a multi-billion dollar business. People who are rich and people who are poor spend money and they're looking for something. They're thirsty. They're looking to find peace, enlightenment, fulfillment. And there are people who are willing to sell it to them. And all of this stuff about enlightenment, this enlightenment marketplace, has a dark side. See, people are spending money and what they're finding is that they're being taught that enlightenment is about creating your own space, your own center where you are at peace. It's all about you. And it's meant to shield you from the world. Today, I want to talk about this dark side of the business of enlightenment. And as I do, I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel, as well as to click the bell so you're notified of other videos. There are all kinds of religious leaders, priests and gurus, spiritual teachers, readers of all sorts, who are encouraging people to buy their services, to read their material and books and attend experiences and conferences and everything you can imagine, all to find the secret of enlightenment. And in the process, what they're really teaching people to do is to focus on themselves, to focus on finding peace and contentment, and in doing so, to build higher and higher walls to keep others out. It's built on the false assumption that your peace and your contentment is what spiritual practice is all about. And if you really look at authentic spirituality, you'll understand that that's not true. Authentic spiritual growth begins with our having compassion for ourselves and for our weakness, but draws us beyond ourself. It draws us to feel compassion for others, compassion for the world, compassion for all of life, so that we find the connection between ourselves and all of life around us. But instead, what the purveyors of this marketplace spirituality really focus on is people creating their own space, their own comfort zone, their own cocoon, and that if anything tries to mess with that, to cut it off and focus on self. It's all about self-focus. It's all about the focus on the ego. So that if people irritate you, cut off those relationships because they're toxic. If the news of the day bothers your peace, then don't pay attention to it. Forget about the rest of the world. All that's important is you. And in that message, what they're saying is that you are the center of your universe and that it's important for you to maintain peace. And the irony is the more someone tries to do it, the less it becomes possible. Another message that many of these purveyors of marketplace enlightenment offer is that if you follow their principles, their guide to life, then you'll be rich like them. They're making money and they're going to teach you how to make money or find success or fulfill your dream or whatever it may be. Spirituality isn't about getting goods. It isn't about getting rich. It's about leading a healthy whole life in relationship with others in the world. All of the great spiritual traditions teach us that. Buddhism talks about it most plainly when it talks about killing the ego. It's about getting past the ego to find enlightenment beyond us. The teachings of Jesus center on that, about dying to self so that we live for others and in doing so find our own life. I find a really important an inspiring statement about this whole dynamic from the Sufi teacher Rumi, the poet, who said that if everything irritates you, you'll never be polished. So that if everything in life becomes an irritation rather than a source of growth, you're never going to become the polished individual, the fine gem that you really are. It's our engagement with the world that's part of authentic spirituality. It's 
our ability to grow beyond ourselves that really marks our growth. Yes, our spiritual practice does bring us peace and contentment, but it's peace and contentment that we carry into the world. And we learn to be truly at peace as we learn to work through the things that are troubling in the world, the things that cause pain, to really transcend the needs of our ego, to become people engaged with the world around us. So I want to ask that you consider, have you bought into this idea of the marketplace enlightenment, the dark side of the business of enlightenment? Are you thinking that your spiritual practice is just about your peace and about your contentment? Or have you come to understand that authentic growth will draw you beyond yourself to experience compassion and care for others, for the world, to enhance your life and the life on the planet? Thanks for your time today. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like the video, share it with others, leave me some comments, and know that I really appreciate the time you spend on Spirituality Beyond Borders. Have a really great day.